Every day, cattlemen and women do all they can to provide the best possible care for their land and the animals who call that land their home. They do so because they're committed to protecting and improving their natural resources and leaving a strong legacy for the next generation. Today, we're highlighting the 2021 regional winners of the Environmental Stewardship Award. Let's take you to Utah to meet the Region 6 Award winner. Sustainability is a process, and whatever happens tomorrow will be affected by what I do today. But if you are wise and listen to the land, it'll tell you what it can do. I'm John Ferry, J.Y. Ferry & Son, located here in northern Utah on the Bear River Delta. My great-grandfather immigrated here right after the railroad at the turn of the century. I'm fourth generation. I operate uh, on our ranch with uh, my brother, and I have a son who's coming along on the fifth generation. Sustainability is a daily goal for our family, and sustainability to me means managing the resource in such a way that it's here for generations. Our cow herd is wetland based and the vegetation that's in the wetland is varied, but the one that's a challenge is a species called Phragmite. Phragmite is an invasive weed. The reason it's invasive because you, it, you cannot naturally control it. Historically, Phragmite has been controlled by herbicide, by spraying it to kill it. But we've discovered in our own operation that we can control Phragmite by grazing it. For when you spray it, you kill everything. When you burn it, you kill everything. When you drought it, you kill everything. And we have been places where they haven't had cattle ever, and it is just a thick jungle mess of Phragmites. You can't walk through it. There's no habitat. No habitat whatsoever for anything, for any birds, or any ducks, or geese, or anything. And that's where we come in because you have cattle that are trained, recognize what the, what the plant is. They will graze on it, select it out, and all of a sudden you are turning a disaster into a grazing opportunity. Phragmites pushes the birds out and the wildlife species that would traditionally use these wetland areas. And so by grazing it, what you do is you're pushing back. You're preventing it from spreading because there are literally thousands of cattle now in the valley grazing on Phragmites every summer. And what we've been able to show is that done the right way, proper management of cattle in these wetland areas actually improves the wetlands. We take it serious, the responsibility we have for the environment, for the uh, legacy of the past, and for the future of this operation. I am constantly looking for opportunities to improve, to enhance what we have, because we have a beautiful resource here, and I love it. This is, this is irreplaceable. Every day I'm out on this place, I look at it and say, this is what my grandfather started, and I need to be able to proudly say that I did the best I could, took what was here, improved upon it, and passed it on. <laughs> 